Hello, my name is Buddha Gaines. I'm the business owner of Boa Farms and Boa Fitness, located here in Chilenco Forks, located at the end of Hourglass Lake. I'm talking to you today to bring attention to the proposed cut block of 300 plus acres that is going to affect the Dix Meadow area as well as within 250 meters of our small family farm at the end of Hourglass Lake. Over my left shoulder, you can see a ridgeline off in the distance. Topographically, that ridgeline will be affected, and every time that we drive down Hudson Airport Road, we're going to be reminded of a big <laughs> scraping. It's going to extend over into Dick's Meadow that way several kilometers. In the following video, you'll be shown exactly what the consequences of a clear cut looks like, as well as the slash that's left on the ground, not to mention in the root system that is left to dry out and decay underneath the ground that itself can lend itself to ash pits as they're called during wildfire season. So thank you for your time. So this is the P road. Uh, just a few hundred meters up here is the uh, 2K marker sign. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a couple of maps in here. One being uh, the map from CCR for the proposed cut block. And as I pan this way, this is the road coming from Dick's Meadow that leads down to Hourglass Lake. So everything to this side, and then there is several hundred meters to this side going up to the ridge line, which we saw when we were over near Hourglass Lake, which is a kilometer or so down there. We are gonna travel up the P Road to the five marker and show you the cut block up there. This is the trail leading to Dick's Meadow. So everything that we're looking at from here over at almost a Punsy Lake Road, almost over 300 hectares, will be part of this giant cut block that will come across, come around Punsy or Hourglass Lake and go up the ridge line and come back this way. We're facing east on the P Road. Uh, the 5K marker is just up there. This is the cut that I was talking of that they initiated last year that we were able to hear at our property down by Hourglass Lake. Unfortunately, the zoom won't do it justice, but uh, above, beyond that ridge line, you can see the mountain at the end of Punsy Lake that was affected by the 2015 Punsy Lake wildfire. Uh, the habitat is still reeling from that and five years later it has not recovered very well. That was a 40 square kilometer burn after it was all said and done. This was what I talked about having a, a half a K 500 meters of cut on either, either side of the P road. It extends uh, I know it extends personally at least 15 kilometers in that direction and then to the south we have it. Here's some perspective. Where my thumb is is where I'm standing on the P road and I am looking that way. Right there is Dick's Meadow. Right there is Dick's Meadow. So that cut block at the end of Dick's Meadow there is going to entail taking all of that until it joins the P Road on the other side of the P Road heading over towards Hourglass Lake. Thank you for taking the time to uh, watch this video. I am currently standing back on Punsy Airport Road. Uh, the property in Hourglass Lake is just a kilometer down the road behind me and Highway 20 is just right there. But this is a demonstration that was really appreciated by our community last summer and fall of cleaning up all the ladder, flu ladder fuels that were in this area as well as burning off the ground slash. And this would be a viable alternative than doing a cut block because as most folks know a cut block leaves a large amount of slash so you're not really removing the fuel. Some consideration should be given to our small community. Thank you for your time and have a good day.